We have a fun paper to do today for activity. Let's look at our paper right here. I see a man and he is sitting down by the brook Cherith. Who could this man be, Angelina? Elijah. It is, it's Elisha, Mr. Elisha. And he is down there at the brook Cherith because God told him to go there. He obeyed. He obeyed quickly. Have you been obeying quickly? Have you been being respectful today? Boys and girls watching, have you been being respectful today and doing your best like Elisha? Good. I'm glad Mr. Elisha was doing his best best and I like this hard work today. So we're going to color this paper together. I see those ravens. What colors were the ravens? Black. They were, they were black. That's right. In just a minute we are going to color those ravens black. And look, he's bringing some bread. What else did he bring? Meat. Meat. They brought meat and bread and oh, he was had his tummy full because God provides, doesn't it? My God shall supply all your needs. needs. Good job. And his need was to have food and to have something to drink and God provided for him. Oh, I'm so glad that our God is so powerful and great. He knows exactly what we need when we need it, doesn't he? Now, there's things that we want. But he's definitely always going to give us the things we need. Even before we know we need them, he's going to provide. Oh, how much God loves us. Class, stand. Turn your chairs quietly into the table and let's get our paper out. Let's see how we're working and doing our best. Pick out your paper. Boys and girls, our boys and girls have their paper in their desk. You can go ahead and get your paper ready as well. Oh, Lauren already has her paper slanted. Bethany already has her paper slanted. Way to go. Cyrus has his paper slanted. Sitting up straight and tall. Johanna is sitting up straight and tall. Way to go. Take out your crayons and put them on your name tag. Boys and girls watching, you can put yours on your name tag if you have one or just right there in front of you. And go ahead and open it and get it ready. Go ahead and open yours. Good. Oh, Lauren, high five. I like that hard work. She has her paper slanted. She opened up her crayons and her hands went right back in her lap and her eyes are right on Mrs. Stewart. She's being so respectful. Way to go. All right, look right up here. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to color our ravens black. Watch, Mrs. Stewart. I'm going to color so carefully, and I'm not going to color hard because I want to still be able to see my raven. If I color too hard, I won't be able to see him. So I want to color very lightly and gently with my crayon. So I'm not going to hold my crayon hard. And I'm just coloring so carefully up my wing here and down the wing. And then back and forth on his body and down his tail, just like that. And then around his belly. Do you see how you can still see my, my raven? And then I'm going to come down here and do the same thing with this one right here. Take out your black crayon, black crayon check. Daddy says, <laughs> Mommy says, <laughs> And the babies say, <laughs> nicely, let's say it nicely, good. All right, color both of the ravens black. Color them both black. Take your time and make it very pretty. Connor, color a little bit lighter. Good job. Oh, I can see your raven, Lauren, good. Nicely done. Bethany, that looks great. Boys and girls watching, are you coloring lightly? I hope so. Nice. Color both of the ravens. Good job. Look at this table. Way to go. Color lightly. Color all in those white spots of those two ravens. You're doing such a nice job. If God can use two birds to do his special work, do you think God can use boys and girls for a special job? Yes. He can. Mm-hmm. 
He sure can. He used um, David. He was just a boy when he took care of that bear and that lion. Mm -hmm. He used Samuel. Samuel was just a boy when he came to live in the temple. He can use boys and girls. And we have to do our best. We have to be respectful. And those, boy, those birds were obeying. If birds can obey, boys and girls can obey and do their best too. All right, black crayons down and eyes this way. Let's see who's obeying quickly, even if they're not finished yet. Who's obeying so fast and quick? Let's see. Oh, I see that Cyrus has obeyed Mrs. Stewart. Tyler, are you going to obey quickly? Thank you. Eyes this way. Now, the brook Cherith was what? What was, his, what was there for him to have to drink? Water. water. That's what a brook is. It's water. Now, do you see his toes are sticking in the water? That means we get to color over his toes. Watch, Mrs. Stewart. I'm going to be really careful because I don't want to get crayon on my chalkboard. So I'm going to go almost to the edge, but not exactly to the edges because I don't want to get it on my chalkboard and you don't want to get it on the table. So don't color too close to the edge. And then I'm going to come across. I'm going back and forth, back and forth, and I'm going to go right over his toes today. Usually we say don't color on their hands or their elbows or their legs. But today, because his feet are sticking right inside that water, keeping cool so he doesn't get hot, it was so hot there, then we want to make sure his toes are staying cool. So you can color right over his toes, just his toes, in that water. Pick up your blue crayon. Blue crayon check. Make sure mommy and daddy are holding on tight and those babies, tuck your babies in. There you go. Check that baby down. Awesome. Right there. Good. All right. Color the brook Cherith. What was it called? The brook Cherith. The brook Cherith. Oh, don't make lines. Color it. Put her hand in the corner. Mommy and Daddy holding on tight. Back and forth. But being very careful so you don't color. Oh, we don't want to color on the table. Back and forth like that. Good. Yeah, that's fine. You can color on the words. Back and forth. Color neatly and don't get too close to the edge. You don't want to get it on, the, on your table. Boys and girls watching, are you being careful not to get it on your table? Good. Good. Like your hard work. Wow, Oakley, you are doing such a great job. Look at him coloring so neatly. Can I just fix your fingers really fast? There you go. Now you got it. Good. Color in all the white spots. You got it. It's looking nice. Go back and forth. Is it easier in that hand? Yeah. Okay. And you can color over his toes. Oh, it's okay, just his toes. You can color over his toes because they're sticking in the water. Not his whole foot, just his toes. Good. You are doing such a good job. After he was at the brook Cherith, where did he go? God sent him to go see somebody. Not yet. He still had another year of no rain. The widow lady. Yes, the widow lady. Mm -hmm. And he asked the widow lady to give him some what, Cyrus? Something to what? More flour. More flour and, and more oil. Well, yes. Well, what was she going to make with that flour and oil? Um, food. So, food, something to eat, wasn't it? That's why he went there to get something to eat. And did she obey? Yes. Yes, she did. And God blessed her with more flour and more oil. Obedience brings blessings. It sure does. Obedience brings blessings. Oh, I see some really nice papers. Very nice. All right. Blue crayons down. And the last part on this side of our paper, I see some bushes there. It almost looks like a cactus. Because cactuses are out in the desert. And that's kind of like where he was, out in the desert. And he is right there next to one. And it's kind of prickly. We don't want to touch those because they're kind of prickly and sharp. But what color is that? Green. 
It is. It is green. So pick up your green crayon and color just that bush green. Color it all in. Make sure mommy and daddy are holding on tight and color it all in green. Let me fix your chair, Catherine. Elijah, can I scoot you over just a little bit? There you go, so that we can help Catherine get in. There you go, sweet girl. Make it pretty, color it all in. Oh, don't color too fast. And I can always tell when you're coloring too fast because I can hear your crayons. Color gently, make it nice and neat. Color gently. Okay, I'll give you just a few more seconds to finish that part up with your green crayon. Wow, Kyla is coloring so neatly and gently because I don't even hear her crayon. I'm standing right next to her and I can't hear her. She is coloring so quietly. Boys and girls watching, are you coloring gently? Good. Good. All right, green crayons down and turn your paper over. Oh, look at this side. Wow. What are they doing to that altar? Pouring water. They are. They are pouring water on it. How is it going to burn now? Fire. Fire. Where's that fire going to come from? Heaven. From heaven. Who's sending that fire? God. God. He is so powerful, isn't he? The same God who sent fire down from heaven to when Elijah was on the earth is the same God who can help you with whatever you need. He will. He will help you. He loves you. And he took care of the people of Israel. He loved them so much. Even though they were disobeying, he didn't hate them. He hated the sin they were doing. Does he hate us when we sin? Yeah. No, he doesn't. It sure does make him sad, though, when we disobey. But he still loves us just like he still loved the, um, the Israelites and he still loved the King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. He still loved them even though they chose not to obey. He still loved them. Well, God did send that fire from him. He showed them his, his power, didn't he? He sure did. Look at this vase right here, this big jug down there that they filled up. They filled up four, and then they filled it up four again, and they did it one more time. That is a lot. That is 12 times. 12 times they did it. That's a lot of water. That is completely sopping wet. Oh, my stars. And then... They started, then Elijah prayed, and what happened? Fire came down from heaven. Yes, the fire came down from heaven. Oh, how powerful God is. Let's color this. Right here, I'm going to take out my brown crayon, and I am coloring it all brown, just like this. Look how fast I did that. I didn't have to scribble it. I didn't have to go outside the lines. I just colored it neatly. Go ahead and take out your brown crayon. Go ahead and color that vase brown. Keep your brown crayon in your hand and right here this man's headdress, the head covering that he has over his head is brown too. So I'm going to color that brown. I'm going to be very careful. I'm not going to color the band that's around his head. That's green. I'm just coloring the brown part. It's coming down over his shoulders and I'm coloring it brown taking my time and coloring it all in brown, just like this. So color it neatly. Doing a nice job. 
So when you're cut, done coloring that vase full of water brown, you can do the head covering that's on top of that man's head. You're doing a great job. Let me check over here. Very nice job. Color in some more on that vase. I see some more white spots. You can do it. Color all down here. Good. Good job. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Some of you need to slow down just a little bit. Slow down just a little bit. Make it nice. Color so pretty. Okay. All right. Brown crayons down and look right here. The rest of this man's clothes are green. So take out your green crayon and color the rest of him green. Not his body, not his arms or his face, just his clothes green. Do a very good job. Isn't it fun to be able to color these Bible papers? You can go home and tell mommy and daddy these Bible stories of how good God is, how powerful God is. While we're coloring this, why don't we sing, my God is so great? Because he was so great, he sent that fire from heaven. He is the only one who could do that. Let's sing about it. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. He sure is. He is so mighty and great, there's nothing our God cannot do. Oh, He sure does love us. He sure does. He takes good care of us, doesn't he? He does. We've been learning our new Bible verse about how God gives us the things that we need and we can thank him for those things that he gives us. What's one of those things that he gives us that he takes good care of us with, Carter? Our houses, mm -hmm, the home that we live in. What's another one, Elijah? The teacher, mm -hmm, I do, I love you, and I'm glad I get to be your teacher. Boys and girls watching, I'm glad I get to be your teacher this year. And what's another one, Connor? A tie. Oh, mm-hmm. And let's see, what else, Oakley? What else did God give us? Water. Water to drink and food to eat. He sure does love us, doesn't he? He is so great and mighty. He gives us exactly what we need. Well, I hope you did a really nice job on your paper today and you go home and you share this story of how great God is. 